Now that we have our list of keywords, before we get too excited and we start optimizing our site, we want to make sure that we take some time to check out our competition to see how difficult it would actually be to rank for these specific keywords. This is going to be our last step in determining which keywords we will go after and which we will not or which we may save for down the road. There are two tools that I like to use. These are browser extensions. The first is called Mozbar, and you can install this. And the second one is SEO Quake. Once you have installed these, you can go to Google and you can enable both of them. And when you put in your keyword into Google, we'll use landscaping Centerville, Virginia as an example of one of my keywords. When I scroll down, I should see both the SEO Quake and the Mozbar. So now you'll see below each organic search, the Moz bar followed by the SEO Quake bar. And this gives us a bit of information. First, we can see page authority, which is PA, followed by the number of backlinks the website has, followed by the domain authority. Now, both domain and page authority are based on a scale of 100. So obviously, the higher the number, the better the authority. However, when you're dealing with some smaller business sites, you're not going to typically have high domain authority. So for instance, the first business here, Superior Landscaping, has a domain authority of 14. Not bad. Really, we want anything that is above 10. If you have a domain authority that's lower than 10, sometimes that can indicate it is a spammy site. But also, if you are dealing with a brand new site, you're not going to start off with a higher domain authority. Next, you can see Yelp has a domain authority of 93. Home Advisor has a domain authority of 78. These are huge, huge, well-respected sites, especially in the eyes of Google. So they have a much higher domain authority. Also, if you see like YouTube, for example, they have a domain authority of 100. Obviously, they're owned by Google. Yellow Pages, 86. But when I'm looking at some of the, the business domain authorities, I see 14. Going down to Prosperity, I see 11. Down some more, I see another 11. Uh, we have an 18 here. Lorenzo has 7. So you can see they're relatively low domain authorities. Now, page authority is similar to domain authority, except that it is specific to each page on the website. So every page on your website is going to have its own page authority. Again, based on the scale of 100, the higher number being the better. So if we are looking to outrank this specific page, this happens to be the home page, it has a page rank of 26. Now, anytime you start to get over about 40, that's when your competition really starts to be a bit more tough to beat. Not saying that it's not possible, but it can just help you organize your keywords to figure out which ones you want to go after first. So this is a 26. This is a 1. So although they have a high domain authority, this particular page only has a page authority of 1. And it has zero backlinks, which is another thing we want to look at. Going down, we have a 34, a 20, a 14, 36. So here we don't have very high page authority sites, which is a good sign. But we also want to take a look at the number of backlinks. This website has 35 backlinks. Here we have zero backlinks. This one has 169. That's getting up there. 21 backlinks, one backlink. So overall there's a relatively low number of backlinks, which is also a good sign. The more backlinks that you have to get to outrank your competition, the harder it's going to be. But you don't only just want to look at the number of backlinks. If we think that this is something we could still rank for, this website says they have 35 backlinks. So what I want to do is I want to grab this URL and I'm going to go into Open Site Explorer. This is going to show me some of the backlinks they have. Now this shows that they do have 35 backlinks, but those backlinks are only coming from five different websites. So that is going to be easier for us to outrank than if they have 35 backlinks from 35 different sources, assuming they're all of high quality. So in looking at the first handful, it looks like a lot of these here are all for a sport agency. So they must be a sponsor of some sort. So that's not super relevant. That's not going to do a tremendous amount for them. 
They also have some student awards, a link from an HOA. The HOA may be uh, more valuable to them. But it also shows the spam score, so I can see if they're doing anything that's kind of spammy. Another tool that you can use is called Majestic. Now, Majestic here, I can also throw in the URL, and I'll be able to see the trust flow and citation flow. This is, again, the higher number, the better. Really, you want both of these numbers to be over 10, and you want them to be relatively the same, especially for your site. If you see that the trust flow, for example, is maybe a 7, that may be a good sign to you that you may be able to outrank them even easier. But a 20 and 24, that doesn't look like anything that I can't outrank. So here it's showing me some of the backlinks here, and I can also click through to see if they'll show me any backlinks that I wasn't able to see in Open Site Explorer, but it's just giving me these couple. So there's really no exact science here. There are several different factors, as you can see, that you need to take into consideration when determining which ones you can rank for. And you just use these to give yourself a good gauge of whether or not you'll be able to work with these keywords. So from looking at this particular keyword, to me, this looks like a keyword that I would go after and I would be able to beat relatively easily. So I'll also take a look at another one of their keywords, which is Lawn Mowing Centerville, Lawn Mowing Centerville, Virginia. And we'll scroll down to the organic searches and I'll take a look again. Here, Yelp. Uh, page authority of only one with zero backlinks. Of course, Yelp is going to have a higher domain authority. We have 25, a page authority of 25, 16 backlinks, 27 and 5. Now again, these are from some bigger sites, but the page authority and backlinks aren't alarming to me right now. It still seems like it could be relatively easy. As you'll notice, some of these smaller businesses, SNS Lawn and Viana Lawn Care, which have a page authority of 19, 9 links, page authority of 1 with 0 links, have outranked Angie's List, with, which has a page authority of 37 and 7 links and a domain authority of 85. So as you can see, it's not always ranked in that exact order based on page authority links, etc. because there are so many factors that Google takes into consideration. So in just a bit, we'll get into on-page optimization and we'll look at how well these sites are actually optimized in Google. And this will really tell you why Google may be ranking these sites higher. So with this information, we can now finalize our keyword list and we can move on to creating our website content and starting to optimize our website as well.